Okay, it's time for the third and final part of my uh, November pre-order roundup. So we start with Amazing Spider-Man number nine. Oh yeah, these are all the Marvel books, by the way. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number nine. Um, the Uncanny X-Men cover. Oh lord, who did this one? Clayton Crane, maybe? I forget. It's kind of a cool X-Force cover. And we have Amazing Spider-Man number 10. That was done by J.G. Jones. It's a pretty cool looking cover. Alright, and we got As Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, number 3. Right, yeah, number 3. And Avengers number 10, the 700th issue, this is the Ron Lim variant. Pretty cool looking. And we got the regular cover for Black Order number one. There's Cosmic Ghost Rider number five. That's, I guess, the final issue of that series. And speaking of final issues, The Death of the Inhumans number five. The regular cover. And Infinity Wars number five. I think there's one more issue of this. That's a guess on my part. I don't actually know for sure how long this series is supposed to run. Just guessing six issues. All right. Marvel two and one number 12. Let's move on to some Spider-Man stuff. We got that, I mean, I don't know whether to consider this Marvel or IDW. It does say Marvel up in the corner, but it was also says IDW down here. It was published by IDW. So this is the uh, Marvel Action Spider-Man uh, number one. I haven't flipped through this yet, but from what I hear, it's um, kind of more of a, a for younger readers so I don't think I'll get any more issues of it, but I was trying to find that Kevin Eastman variant of it because I thought that was pretty cool looking, but I could not find it. Uh, we got the regular cover for Spider Geddon number three. And the regular cover for number four. And I think I might have picked up the um um what do you call the in Huckley connecting variants for those? That's Spider Man Enter the Spider Verse number one. Um, I did get the one in ten animation variant for this one. All right, and then I got Uncanny X Men number one. Um, I'm pretty disappointed with this. Um, I don't know if this is just the way Midtown handled this or if it's just Marvel being cheap. But the corner, I mean, it's a thick book and the corners on it are definitely busted. This one's kind of a little, I don't know if it's really focusing on it, but it's definitely a little bit dinged up. Um, and this one, which is the wrapper on cover, is even worse. Actually, the, the top corner up here was busted so bad that part of it actually folded back. So it's a nice little tear there. So I'm not very pleased with that. Um, of course, this is a weekly series, and I pre-ordered these books, so I also got number two... I like Jamie Magix, but I also got number three. But I don't think I will be getting any more. Just, I don't know, a little annoyed with it. Um, got the J. Scott Campbell X-Men cover for Venom number eight. 
and the final Marvel book that I had pre-ordered several months ago this is the regular cover for Web of Venom Carnage Born number one that's a pretty cool cover I think in, in my opinion Carnage in this cover doesn't I mean in spots he kind of looks gooey like he normally does but then in some places he also looks like the costume coming off of him looks almost like spider webs more like filaments than drips <laughs> anyway it's cool looking though um all right so those are the marvel books that i pre-ordered for november um i when i did this i was planning to kind of do it once to see how it went and then keep going with it and I forgot to do it for December so I, I guess during the month of December I'll just be picking up everything off the stands and then um, um, I, I did pre-order some more books for January and February so I'll be saving some money during those months and hopefully getting some cool back issues